Good morning. Good morning. Uh, God bless you. God keep all of you. Uh, I'm a little hype right now, and I'm a little perturbed, and I'm not going to cuss, although I did a little bit earlier, but, which, that word is not really a bad word, but, uh, you know, I've been sitting, praying, meditating, doing what I got to do, just keep moving, but anyway, this man may, uh, named David Thomas, oh, you know I'm hype, because I, mm, his name is David Thomas, and he's on my Facebook page, Mr. David Thomas. And uh, I don't know, his, I didn't see his picture, but anyway, the name is David Thomas. And, uh, oh my God, I just can't even talk because I'm so, I'm so angry. But anyway, he was telling me that uh, veterans, let me preference this by saying, I've been trying to learn more about politics, just, just because so many things have been happening in the world, so I'm trying to get up to date on things. But, and there's a lot of things I don't know, and I appreciate Facebook, because I have mostly people, informative people on my page, people talk, talking about good and positive things, and people, you know, talking about life. And anyway, he was telling me that, he was telling the world <laughs> that uh, I shared a, a video, and it was talking about thank veterans, and if you think, uh, think they should get free medical care, uh, share this. So I shared it. And he was telling me that politicians, the governors and stuff like that, they get free medical and dental, but yet veterans and people in the military, I don't know if he many people in the military now, but he said veterans don't get um, uh, medical and dental. And I'm like, oh, my God, for real? I just don't believe it. So anyway, I just informed him that I was going to let him know. My daddy served in World War II, and I just wanted him to see this so that he don't think that I'm just talking and I, I, uh, he had me crying. And, uh, you know, it brings tears to my ass. But my father fought in the war. He's a black man. And my father fought in the war for this country. And uh, so I don't, I don't, this is what I got to say about that. I, I don't want to people, like I said, I, I'm a, I'll I'm show you. <laughs> I'm not going to just talk about it. I'm going to be about it. And I'm going to show you my daddy. And this is what my daddy did for this country. I'm trying to make sure his little social's not on here. But anyway, and showing you that they, the records burnt up. And they no longer have them. They didn't think to do microfish or copies or whatever. So I wanted more information about my father because I was not always a part of his life. <clears throat> Due to some circumstances with my mother and, and uh, just relationships. And I wasn't a part of that. But I wanted to know more about my father. I did meet him and was around him. But we never did discuss his military uh, performance. But when he died, he had the flag and everything. But here... This is my father, my daddy, who took care of me before death and after his death. <clears throat> can you see it? He served in the military. I'm hoping that you can uh, glimpse it. Most important, you, you can pull it up and focus your stuff later on. But anyway, what I want you to see is right here about my father, my daddy, who, who gave birth to me. It says that he had an honorable discharge. I don't know about dishonorable for whatever. I don't know. That's their story. But my father, he had an honorable discharge. And when he was released from the army, when he got out of that madness, I'm quite, I know for, for sure it was madness. I can't think of the lady's name who helped me uh, receive all these records and information. She works at the Neal Center, and I heard recently that she died. But she was helping a lot of veterans get uh, housing and uh, get benefits, med trying to get their medical and dental benefits and everything. I can't think. She had a real odd name, but she worked at the Neal Center in Louisville, Kentucky, down off of uh, uh, 30, what's that, 31st, 30, 31st and Broadway. She used to work in our, she had an odd name, real odd name, unusual name. And she had served in the military. And uh, she had me crying because she told me the things that my father went through. And my father used to drink. He used to drink, but my father worked. He worked and he received his uh, gold watch. He retired with his gold watch and everything, his benefits and everything. He retired after he retired a little bit, a couple of uh, months or maybe a year later, he passed. He died in, the, in my mother's house. But anyway... My mother didn't kill him. <laughs> God forgive it made me laugh, y'all still it. But anyway, but uh uh anyway, uh he died of natural causes, I believe. It was natural causes. But my father was a big man. I'm talking about a big man, so I'm like when he was in the military, I'm quite sure his presence, believe me, his presence was known. By white and black it was known. My dad is like six three, six four. 
weigh every bit of 300 pounds. Big old chocolate, beautiful man, beautiful. I'm talking about beautiful, handsome, love to dress. Yeah, but um, yeah. Like I said, my father is private, you know, and uh, like I said, it just brings tears to my eyes. I, I'm I'm sorry, and uh, like I said, uh, uh, um, I think about the times when I was with my father and uh, being in his presence. He's a very giving man, but he wanted to. Uh, we reestablished our relationship, and uh, my father, like I said, he was a giver. He would buy me things, take care of me, but he taught me how a man should treat a woman. He made sure that I, I did, I did gain that from him, and uh, just knowing that this big man was in the army, and I was curious. To get, I wanted information about my daddy because I wanted to know what did he do in the army. I wanted to know everything I could about my daddy. But for him to be in the army and the man that I seen, he was kind of quiet. But I noticed if you got him ticked, oh, he was on. But he had a lot of friends, and uh, from what I and I just recently, a couple of months ago, found out that people that worked at Vulcan Vulcan Heart, where my daddy retired from that they used to go to these places and he would meet up with a lot of men and apparently so a lot of them was military and a lot of them worked at that company and they would meet at this place where my daddy would take me places with him he always loved to ride me places and he would take me places I miss my dad, and I love my dad, and I miss my dad, and my, my daddy fought for this country. My daddy fought for this country. He didn't die. He fought for this country, and then when he left the Army, he, he received a job. He had a job, and let me back this up. I don't know if he had how long the company was in business, but my daddy worked that job for all those years, 60 years or whatever it was until he retired. I don't know if they held the job for him knowing that he had to do service, work, save, uh, put his life on the line for the country. But I think that if you're doing those things, I think, yes, uh, I don't think, I know, you should get free medical. It shouldn't even be called free. It should be a part of it. you going, oh, Lord Jesus, let me stop. But I just wanted you to know that my daddy, he fought for this country. And I'm not was just talking like I'm paranoid and I'm, I'm a lunatic. And like I said, when I went for his records, uh, I want to say this. Uh, when I went for the records, I, I applied for his records March the 13th, 2007. And this is what they said. Dear sir, dear ma'am, thank you for contacting the National Personal Records Center. The record needed to answer your inquiry is not in, file, in our files. If the record were here on July the 12th, 1973, it would have been in the area that suffered the most damage in the fire on the date and may have been destroyed. We used alternate sources to reconstruct some record data lost in the fire. Although we cannot reconstruct complete records, we are pleased to enclose in a form 13038 Certification of Military Service. This document verifies military service and may be used for any official purpose, a seal has been affixed to the document to attest to its authenticity. The veteran last, the veteran's last unit of assignment was Company B, Special Training Battalion. Battalion, yeah, my daddy. Oh, let me show y'all that too. Mm-hmm. Let me show y'all too. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. I inquired about my papa. Yeah. It's my older dress, but anyway, my daddy, battalion, battalion, yeah, but what pissed me off about that, yeah, I'm not going to cuss all the way, but yeah, the records burnt up 1973, I'm quite sure, micro fishing, all of that, you FBI, you running around to do a DNA test and all this and find out who killed somebody, who murdered somebody in the crime scene, but you couldn't uh, uh, reconstruct some records? Uh, of a person that served in the war, you couldn't come better than that. Hey, I see you uh, interested in finding your father's records. Uh, I'm glad. Uh, dear sir, dear ma'am, what about, hey, I'm his child. 
Hey, uh, I appreciate that you're trying to uh, get more information about your father. We were pleased that he served in the military. We were pleased that he dedicated his life. What about that? What about that? He had a mama and he had a daddy. And at that time, there was a lot of racism going on. So what about that? What about uh, uh, appeasing? I said something, some comforting words to me, even though it was 2007. What about that? The records were lost in 1973. What about that? Not just me, but other people. And I want to add this out there, too. When I went to apply for the banker camp where they have the, uh, uh, what is it, the NAA or AA, whatever it is, the little bank for military personnel, I do not qualify because uh, it was long ago, uh, 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 World War II veterans, some, some stuff to it, but I wasn't able to be involved in military, you know the word for it. I, wouldn't be, I wasn't able to be involved in my father's military uh, life, even though he served in it and fought for this country. As you see, I have proof of that, and I said that. But when I applied for it, or the ad, whatever it is, if you so long ago, I guess World War II people, children, they not allowed, but it was present military children are allowed to invest into that banking company, which offers a lot of benefits and a lot of discounts because their parents served in the military. But my father served in the military too. So why is it that I'm not able to acquire that same benefit? Why is it? Okay. I'm just saying. But like I said, I feel veterans' pain. I don't have any medical or dental insurance. I don't have any. So I know what I know how complicated and how much how horrific how horrific it is to not have those things. Believe me. You know, be in pain and you can't go to the doctor. You got to think about getting some over-counter medication before you even go. And as a matter of fact, I just went to the emergency room without medical and dental. And I went to medical and I, my bill was $5,000. And they're going to put me on stand up for something where I could possibly uh, have it where they'll pay it. They marked it down to 1000 where they're probably what basically what needy. Uh, 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 basically, that's what it is. Poor people. They'll give me poor people benefits. Anyway, that's all I got to say, and I'm going to upload this because I wanted uh, David to see this. Uh, God bless you all, and God bless the military personnel. Bye-bye.